today we contoured Kat's face, added a little bit of definition, even though she clearly doesn't need it. But just to show you guys how this palette worked, I really wanted to show you what it can do to someone's face. As you guys know, I already am a huge fan of the Shade and Light Face Contour Palette. So when the creme formula came out, I absolutely fell in love. Cream contour can be really intimidating to most people, so with this contour palette, it makes it absolutely simple. You never wanna lay down a cream contour on anything that's already been powdered, so since she has this nice slick foundation, we're gonna go ahead and apply our contour tone. You wanna always start back towards the ear. If you start anywhere forward, it's gonna be really hard to blend out and without looking like you have this straight line across your cheek. So you always wanna start where your point of intensity is, place the product and blend forward. I like to place and pull forward. And I always like to lightly blend up into the skin since she has these beautiful cheekbones. The brush was specifically made for this palette. It has a nice domed tip. So it gets really into those curves, hugs the cheekbone, and it makes it super natural to blend forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out using the Beauty Blender just to soften around the edges. It's gonna make such a big difference with the smallest swipe of contour. Kat already has such a defined, skinny, beautiful nose, so we don't really need to add too much product and I usually don't recommend contouring heavily on a skinny nose, but just so everybody can see how to properly contour a nose using a cream, we're gonna go ahead. For contouring noses, I really love the concealer brush because it is a small little dome. We call it the kitten paw. The side has a nice flat edge, so you can seamlessly blend into the foundation. I'm using a clean brush just to blend out so I'm not adding more product. So now to tie this all together, I am going to go around her jawline. So by adding contour around the jaw too, it's gonna slim the jawline. I try not to add too much down here because there's nothing weirder than seeing just a dark stripe. So you always wanna make sure and blend it into the neck, but not all the way down so it doesn't look like you have a really tan neck. And I always wanna blend forward. You always wanna keep the point of intensity in the back just in case you need to blend it out. Last but not least, we're gonna set this and we're ready to go. I love this powder because it blends in any imperfections, any blunt lines that you may have. It micro blurs them out. Almost looks like you have an Instagram filter built right onto your face after you apply this powder.